Hey folks, this is Moonbeam from RC Groups. That's my airplane over there. Um, earlier we did a video showing how we did a gear mod fix, uh, thanks to the ingenious uh, common sense of this guy, my brother, uh, Rhino5. You can check that video out uh, at another time. But anyway, one of the things we found when we were doing this repair and we had issues without the flying field was something I've been re hearing a lot about on the threads is slop in the ailerons. And we noticed, he okay, he doesn't have AS3X on his. This is a plug and play, uh, mine's a bind and fly. But his airplane was really hard to control, particularly on approach and just before touchdown. I always thought he was overcorrecting the airplane and he wasn't. And uh, I took the thing up for a test fly. Now he had less throw and a lot more expo in his radio than I did. So his plane should have been a lot more docile, not sensitive at all. But as I was trying to land his airplane, I had the exact same problem. So we figured it was something in the ailerons and um, came back to something everybody else has talked about a slop in the ailerons. But generally this thing has a lot of movement. Now here you see, I've got virtually no slop. We repaired that side. because we repaired this one. If I move this aileron, you'll see that the servo arm is moving. There's no, there's no slop. It's this plate right here, that, which is the bottom technically of your control horn, is loose. You can see we put some CA on it. Just a couple little drops is all we needed. Now here's where the slop is at. Look at that. I mean, that is a lot of play. And if you look at how much play, that's a lot. That's like a that's quarter. A, that's of, a lot of dang wiggle right there. It's more, that's like a three, maybe even three eighths of an inch of. Yeah, it's slop it's, at the end. It's at least a quarter. Yeah. And uh, so what the, I'm going to show you over here on my plane. This is the top of the control horn for the aileron. This is the other side. Underneath is the plate that we were showing it's loose. So a lot of people were saying, oh, the hole here is wallered out really bad and you got a lot of slop in there. And I mean, you can see mine has a little bit. Yeah, sure. I don't have hardly any slop or flutter in my uh, ailerons at all. So yeah, we got to mess around. We found it. That seemed to be what it was because this one has a ton of play in it. And this one did too. And since we put a drop or two of CA on that plate, and make sure you tilt your wing like this, because once you put a drop of CA on this thing, if it runs the other way on that rod and hits that hinge, you're gonna yeah. screw yourself up really bad. So make sure if it runs, that it runs this way if you're using the thin stuff. Otherwise, use like medium or thick CA. And that fixed it. So there you have it. Uh, we might have to make an adjustment in here for his ailerons because we did notice that sitting static, both ailerons sagged down a little bit. And that's, <coughs> again, just an easy fix right here. But for the slop and all the play and the flutter and everything else you're getting, check your timber right here on this plate. In the tip of the wing, get your middle hook up. Bam. Problem solved. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. Um, you know, you might have a different problem. But if you, if you notice that slop right there, put a drop of CA on it and see if that cures your problem. And uh, happy flying, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and yeah, all that Merry great Christmas. happy stuff.